welcome into the master bathroom. This is a complete remodel that we worked on. And we tore everything out, including pushing the wall back. Rob's gonna talk a little bit more about the construction. But we put in a freestanding tub. That was super important to the female homeowner. The male homeowner, of course, wanted the super, you know, deluxe car wash shower. And we added the color on the walls with the subway tile that we put on the herringbone diagonal pattern. And then otherwise, the bathroom is super neutral with just a clear coat on the cabinets, which Rob's gonna go a little bit more into detail on the custom cabinets that we installed. Quartz countertops, um, black fixtures from Delta, of course, they're the one handle, which is that really transitional look. So it's a very, very timeless bathroom. Um, we also added the linen closet in here, the full-size mirror, which is great because you can stand over here and see yourself after you're done getting dressed. And it's just a really luxurious bathroom to wake up to in the morning. And so Rob, tell a little bit about you know, the cabinet design that you came up with, the features in the cabinetry, and then of course, how we do our showers so that they're guaranteed not to leak too. Sure. So let's, let's talk about the cabinets first. The homeowners, they wanted a very neutral, very transitional uh, feel in here. So we felt that we would go with the shaker style doors, this uh, particular wood is ash, and we just did a clear coat on it. Um, with all of our cabinet designs, we speak to the homeowners, ask them uh, how they use the bathroom, uh, what they need, and try to incorporate those uh, features into uh, the cabinet design. So, such as this uh, cabinet uh, layout, obviously we have a knee space for her to sit down and do makeup, but like in here, we have a pull out and it's mainly for blow dryers and curling irons and it's got outlets, so nothing has to be unplugged. Once they're uh, done with it, she just closes it and it's completely hidden away. Um, the other feature that we added in here um, is not only function, but uh, also fashion, as I call it, as uh, the toe kick lighting. Toe kick lighting really um, adds to the look of the overall uh, room, but it also, um, homeowners have told us that it's a nice night light at night. They can dim it down and be able to walk into the bathroom at night without having to flip, you know, the, the large overhead lights on. So um, all of our cabinets are soft closed doors, soft closed drawers, and uh, again, I feel that it um, is a very sleek transitional look. So um, as Robin said, we did a flush mounted uh, linen cabinet over here, and it, it, all, um, it all matches uh, the main cabinets. So let's talk a little bit about our shower. The, like Robin said, they wanted a the wow factor shower, uh, the car wash shower with all the heads and the body sprays and all the bells and whistles. Uh, sometimes the issue with that is when you have so many fixtures and shower heads and body sprays and overheads, and if you notice up top, there's actually a ceiling rain head. Uh, you have to be able to control those and usually, you control them with a, a you know regular hand valve that you know you're turning this one and turning this one and you've got so many valves in here it really starts to look uh, uh, very crowded. How we solve that is uh, we use the Kohler DTV system. So this entire shower is controlled by an electronic key keypad. 
So all of the, there's a keypad here that controls water temperature, um, which um, fixture um, you're gonna get water from, whether it's the, the main shower head, the body sprays, the handheld, or the, um, the ceiling head, or a combination of any of them. Uh, the other nice thing about it is you can set up profiles so the husband can have his way, uh, um, the way he likes to take a shower, comes in, taps his profile. The wife uh, may have a completely different profile, taps her profile, and um, it works for everyone. So it really cleaned up um, the walls because our initial design had, I think, three different valves over here with handles and it uh, it really just cluttered up the wall. Um, the other thing that we, with any of our showers, the most important thing about any shower is how, how it's waterproof. Um, it can have the best tile in the world, but if it wasn't waterproof properly, uh, there's going to, going to be problems with it down the road. We use the uh, German um, system called Schluter. Um, the entire system is made out, is the Schluter system, the floor, the walls, any place where it's going to be in a wet area and tile applied to it. So once we install the Schluter system and we waterproof it, it has a lifetime warranty. So it takes that uh, guessing game out of the equation of uh, homeowners calling two, three, four years later saying, well, they have a shower or pan leak. So that's a big benefit with the, uh, the Schluter system. We were able to, also using the Schluter system, we were able to do a floating bench. We thought it would be a nice feature to extend the bench on through the glass, onto the outside of the shower, and then also that could act as a shelf uh, for wine glasses or to uh, put a book or whatever uh, someone would like while they're in the uh, bathtub itself. The homeowners wanted to take their private space outside, so we built them a covered patio, which Rob will go into great detail, the system that we used and it is a really wonderful spot. It also has an outdoor shower, so they can shower off before they come inside, or if anybody's outside, they can also shower off before they head into the house. So join me outside. As Robin had told you prior, the homeowners wanted to have a private space outside of their master bathroom. I think we did a very nice job by creating that private space, mainly by using the Brewster uh, patio system. It's a completely contained system and uh, it has a lot of different features, really neat features. It has the LED lighting all the way around that um, can be used at night. It has the blinds that um, can go up and down. The blinds can have a heavier or a lighter color screen to act as privacy. And it also, it's, as you look right now, it has a solid um, roof to it. But in the nice days, the spring days, when the sun's not directly overhead, we can open these louvers up. So this entire system will open up completely and give you a great outdoor living space. The other nice thing about this, while these uh, louvers are in the up position, if uh, it should start raining, they will automatically close. So you don't have to be home and worry about that. The other thing the homeowner really wanted was an outdoor shower. And what we did, we incorporated uh, an outdoor shower. And uh, it's a nice large shower. It has privacy panels here. And uh, they were thrilled. 
They wanted to also make this where we can mount a TV. So the way we constructed it was a two panel system where we could run our electrical lines in between the two uh, waterproof panels. So it worked out really nice. So it can come out here uh, right now in the spring, have everything open and be able to enjoy the TV. Um, and it's away from everyone else, away from the kids, away from uh, anyone else that may be here. Join us as we go inside to see the homeowner's pride and joy and explain everything that we did. Let's go. Welcome to the homeowner's paradise. It truly is just an entertainer's dream. We've got the full kitchen here with every type of grill, flat top, microwave, everything that you can possibly imagine to throw a huge party. Not to, I mean, even it's a indoor outdoor space that as you saw, the shades can go completely up. They can go completely down because it's got heaters. The fireplace are just, they're just wonderful. Uh, it can be configured many different ways. If you want a big seating area, you know, you can move the stools around for lots of people to sit here at the bar. Um, of course, you know, you have to have a beer tap when you're here in an outdoor pool house. And um, who wouldn't want all the TVs and I wish I had this at my house, but it's also got a full bathroom. Behind me is the gym, which again is just unbelievable. And then there's also a storm room in here. And then Rob's gonna give you again the details about everything that we did here in the pool house. But let me just say, this is really, just a dream with everything that we put in here for the homeowners and they absolutely love entertaining matter of fact they're going to have a party here in just a couple of days i hope you enjoy it as much as we did building it for them okay i want to talk to you a little bit about all the accessories and the features that we put into this space the homeowner had a very long wish list and I feel that we met that wish list and plus some. So I just want to go down and tell you a little bit about what we have in this, I would say small space, but it's a huge space. Um, so starting here on the right, we have a 48 inch smoker. The next we have a 48 inch gas grill. Over here, we have a built-in beer uh, refrigerator, and we have fresh beer on tap. Here we have an under cabinet beverage center. To the right, we have a microwave drawer. And this is probably one of my favorite things in here. It's a 36 inch round gas flat top like hibachi um, it can be used for just about anything it's probably my most favorite um, appliance that we did put uh, in this space over here of course gotta have a dishwasher outside and an outdoor uh, ice maker uh, the one thing that we had to be very careful with is we had to make sure that all the appliances that we did put outside we're rated for outside. And the brand that we went with, uh, the true brand, uh, they are rated for, out, for outdoor use. What we have here, we have a full-size dining table that we've created a niche for. So uh, it, it fits very nicely centered in uh, the space and you have a great view 
out to the pool area. Stepping over here to the entertainment center, lots of seating through here to sit. Enjoy these uh, fireplaces. There's two fireplaces, each one is 10 feet long. They put out a lot of heat, but for the guys, we have four large screen TVs. This one here right now is on baseball. This one's on Formula One racing. This one over here is on soccer. And this one has the Masters uh, Golf Tournament on. So it is a sports fanatic dream. Okay, now let's take a look at the home gym that we added to this full house. One of the other things the homeowners wanted integrated into this pool house was a home gym. And we were able to do that uh, with a really good design. So this room is strictly de dedicated to home workout. Uh, the homeowners, we put in a Peloton. We put in some automated workout equipment. We have a Peloton rowing machine. You notice we have the rubberized floor where aerobics can be done, where floor work can be done, and areas for bench work and barbells. So after the weight room was put in, we had a little bit more space, and I, so I wanted to give the homeowner something a little special. Let's take a look. So the homeowner said they have a lot of wine that they would like to store. So I made this room here for them to be able to have a nice wine storage. Also to be able to store extra drinks and all of their bar uh, glassware that they would use during parties. One thing that uh, they didn't ask for, but with us being in Texas, and we hear the storm sirens going off every other week. One thing that I did integrate into this room was a steel tornado room. So this tornado room is all steel, holds 10 people, and they were, are absolutely blown away with it. And when I spoke to the homeowner earlier today, they have been in it three times since it's been installed about a month ago. Okay, so the final room in the full house is the bathroom. We did a full bath with a vanity, a toilet, and a large shower. The cabinets are the same nature cast waterproof cabinets that we did out in the kitchen area. But in here, I wanted to have a little bit of a different layout. So these cabinets are actually floating so they're about one foot off the floor. So uh, just give it a little bit of a different look. Then of course we have a nice toilet and then this really large shower, a shower that you could compare to being in someone's master bathroom. They love it, we love it, we love that they love it and I hope they love it for years to come. So we've talked about a lot of spectacular areas outside the home here. We wanted to take that one step further and bring this great space that we've created for the homeowners into their home, but also open the home up to be able to bring the inside of the home to the outside. And what we did was we installed this new Pella door system. It's brand new, only has been on the market about two months. I think we got one of the first ones and we just got it installed um, not too uh, long ago. And I'm going to show you how this opens. So now on really nice days, you have a big party, you have people coming in and out. Instead of people going through a three foot wide door, now you have a 15 foot doorway 
so people can come and go and you've just opened up the back side of your home to this beautiful backyard oasis. As far as the swimming pool goes, the homeowners had a swimming pool here originally. In fact, it was the exact pool that you see here, the same shape, but it had no space around the pool to entertain. So the homeowners, they really wanted to entertain a lot. They wanted a much larger area for people to spread out and they're just not at one small table or uh, sitting in a couple chairs along you know, one side of the pool. So we really expanded this space out. Uh, as you can see, we gave them a raised area up top. It's got a fire pit. It's got the Tempest torches on both sides. And we've also added water features. The entire coping of the pool was redone. The interior portion of the pool was redone. And we also added this sunbathing uh, raised area uh, to the pool because originally it just dropped straight down. So they really like that. You can see um, the small tables and they can have their drinks, read, uh, talk, and just enjoy themselves outdoors. If you look down further, there's even another living space that uh, can seat 10 or 12 people. And you can have multiple people having uh, totally different conversations, and but still feel together, but still been able to have their privacy.